Um, a former Shelby County commissioner and well-known civil rights attorney is commending police chief C.J. Davis after firing five Memphis police officers in the wake of Tyree Nichols' death. Walter Bailey tells our Shea author that Nichols' death sadly reminds him of another case he was involved in 52 years ago. 52 years. That's how far they got to go. Shelby County Commissioner Walter Bailey Jr. has been a big part of Memphis history. He's worked to fight no injustice wonder. in the community and as an attorney has worked on several landmark civil rights cases. This week, he sent a letter to Memphis Police Chief C.J. Davis commending her response in firing five officers following the death of Tyree Nichols. Saying in part, I would be remiss if I did not openly extend my deepest thanks and appreciation for your exceptional professional administrative skill, wisdom, and courage. Going on to say, sadly, too often I have seen situations where decent police officers succumb to group dynamics that cause them to become cowardly susceptible to the most heinous conduct. Conduct that makes them think back. 52 years ago, 1971, <laughs> and the death of 17-year-old Elton Hayes. He had been severely beaten in a ditch by Shelby County Sheriff's deputies and Memphis police officers. What do you remember from that? I remember how horrible, how horrendous it was and uh, how uh, devastating it, what a blow it. The word to you, horrible, horrendous, devastating. There literally was a barber, an upstanding citizen that got shot through a window while he <laughs> gave somebody a haircut yesterday. And they don't use those words about shit like that. He don't even know about that dude. He probably don't even care. Well, look it's, at his barber. Right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. His lineup is fucking awful. Hey, now, you know, black people, we look kind of bad when we get old sometimes. My yo, my grandmother looks like fucking Paul McCartney. Don't feel bad. The whole system of justice. The incident was initially the covered up. The public was told Hayes died from trauma in a car crash. 52 years ago and the police department at that time was not nearly as honest and up and forthright and responsive rage and rioting erupted throughout the city eventually with the so help they were rioting in 1971 over the fucking kid man they, they that's what they want they want them to do this so yeah. bad from 1971, they, now now this kid, whatever the fuck his name is, whatever, I can't even remember his name, whatever the fuck his name is, he's back in the fucking, remember him? And everybody like, yeah, I remember him. His soul was racing for 52 years. None of them dug him back up. Yeah. Let him rest. Up and forthright and responsive. Rage and rioting erupted throughout the city. Eventually, with the help of Bailey, the officers were charged and tried, but were acquitted. But uh, nevertheless, at least they were tried. They met, they had to account for their heinous behavior. As for the death of Nichols. It roused me up, it disturbs me Im immensely to see abuse of authority in that regard by police officers. But says the officers firing sends a message. Their behavior oh, is- the officers, look, it was three black cops even in 1971, it was three of the cops was black. Not the change. Like Freddie Gray all but over But says here. the officers firing- One, two, Sends a message. Three, their behavior four, is intolerable. Five. Wow. Three out of five in 1971. And they proud of all three blacks too. The other two whites probably weren't even involved. Think about it, how they tell us. Back in old day, you could only be a porter on the train. If you was a black <laughs> man, all you could do was shot you. That that story you did about the um the white guy that shot the black kids on a train. Oh yeah, yeah. That story is so liberating because you saw nothing but black people and all these type of like different positions and roles and it was a liberating story yeah, in a well, way so they don't see that they don't see that as good. i they never saw like nothing like that before and i i enjoy watching that i was like wow look at us we was trying conduct we was judges we were, what the hell is they talking about you liked the lie the lie is that we all we were we had yes a ball we was walking around in the white man been the corner oh everybody oh yes a balls hi the balls uh, 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 I mean come on you so man. silly that's, 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 that's how they describe they it that's how they describe they it they should like, show that video to all middle school kids like, just like, show them that video 
they not gonna they they're not gonna believe it. They they literally make it seem like me and Marcy and and Stunner and Osa and Black Gen Z be standing on the corner and a white man come up and say, Hey boy, why don't y'all go in the house now? It's getting kind of late. And we all like, oh, okay, sir. Yes, sir. That's what that's the story. That's a, I wish I wish yeah. that would work today. They're <laughs> so bad God. nowadays, these sun teams. Well, they still talk about it. They they talk about they talk about it in those terms now. They the out you know they say similarly outrageous bullshit about you know how it is like people are being hunted and they have to be meek and they have to be extra kind and scraping and you know deferential and stuff and obvious you know in they in flat crazy. contradiction to to the obvious truth. No, but they say that like yeah, they, they say yeah. that like you know some people need to be especially nice and quiet and don't get in the way and don't get it never it said that that's why you you when you walk around any part of the u.s you almost never see a sun person in in public because they have to always be hiding because they might just get shipped the police sees you you're you're done you're dead that you never see a sun person like making any you know extra noise you never hear a sun person turning their car stereo up you never see a sun person talking loud and but you, you you never see it because it's a death sentence they still talk about shit that way when the funny yeah. part is that the gliders do that don't live around some people oh um, well the gliders that don't live around some people eat it up it's the pasty liberals that, that they yeah. but it's they, actually yeah. the opposite though the the like me when i'm out in public the only people I see talking loud on their cell phones, telling all their business into the air. The only people I see with include well, make Dominicans and I was gonna say um Brito. Yeah, yeah, but but not not the not the Mexicans type. You know, El Salvador, it's the Dominicans and the Puerto Rican type. Yeah. But um the the um but yeah, the only people I see like just ostentatious and loud and peacocking all over the place for the most part. If you're in a city that's you know got ten percent or more black people, and it's it's the exact opposite of what they're saying. But this is this is very that's what I'm saying. It's it's not only incorrect; it's the opposite, and yet they still say it. And and yeah, gliders, the, especially gliders who don't live in the area, firing. they just lap it up. They believe it. Yeah, it sends a message. Their behavior is intolerable, and there are consequences and accountability. Saying they should now face criminal charges. Oh, absolutely! On the face of it, from what we've seen so far, police officers uh, have to understand that they're not above the law, that they're not immunized from accountability when things get out of control and they and they uh, misbehave. Shay Arthur, WREG. News Channel Three. Some good perspective it's, there. Yeah, and it is one. unclear. That dude's when, despicable, dog. He's yeah. awful, man. Yeah. yeah, fucking! I ain't heard shit. I never. I seen. I when I think I see that. I like Bash Mr. Walter. I met him before a long yeah. time ago. I ain't heard him say shit from all of these <laughs> other killings, man. You made about you, ninety years he's on old. Here with a perm. He's on here with a perm and shit, looking like uh, old boy from Django and shit, trying to talk about this is despicable and 